He's listening to Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, bro. No, I'm just listening to my girl. No, clown, bro. Like ten years late on everything. You got the Cavs hoodie on, like bro. They haven't been good like ten years either. They haven't won a game. It's a big deal. This is social media bullying. What you mean? Cyber bullying? I guess so. Open the Say Something app on your iPad, then enter in your passcode. If you don't already have a passcode, you'll be asked to set one once you open the app. After that, if you haven't already selected a school, go ahead and select Auburn High School from Auburn, Alabama. After you have AHS selected, click on Make a Report, then select your topic and fill out the form. So guys, I called you down here because on the anonymous Say Something app, your names, um, kept appearing because it's indicated that you have been constantly harassing someone and I wanted to hear you know your version or just talk to you about it I didn't I didn't do anything me and they were just messing playing around with them yeah. yeah having fun okay so I don't know who the student is um, but you know who you've been messing around with so um, Maybe we'll have to talk about this a little deeper. You can help save lives by reporting observed threats, behaviors, action, and harassment. Here are some examples of the most common behaviors and incidents to report. Acts of violence with or without weapons, verbal or physical abuse, assault, or harassment, sexual abuse, assault, or harassment, threats seen on social media, bullying, fighting, harassment, or intimidating behaviors, bragging about weapons or a planned attack, depression, anxiety, or loss of self-control, hopelessness, excessive guilt, or the feeling of worthlessness, reckless behavior, theft, and petty crimes, social isolation or withdrawal, substance or alcohol abuse, suicide threats, cutting, or other self-harm or any other troubling situation or behavior. Here are some gun violence statistics. Share these facts, know the signs, and act to protect them before it's too late. Each day, eight children die from gun violence in America. Another 32 are shot and injured. Guns are the leading cause of death among American children and teens. One out of 10 gun deaths are age 19 or younger. In a comprehensive study of school shootings, from 1974 to 2000 conducted by the Secret Service and Department of Education, 93% of school shooters planned the attack in advance. Firearm deaths occur at a rate more than three times higher than drownings. The U.S. has had 1,316 school shootings since 1970 and these numbers are increasing. 
18% of school shootings have taken place since the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School in December 2012. And four out of five school shootings, at least one other person had knowledge of the attacker's plan but failed to report it. Guns used in about 68% of gun-related incidents at schools were taken from the home, a friend, or a relative. A study found that 77% of active shooters spent a week or longer planning their attack. Nearly all mass attackers in 2018 made threatening or concerning communications and more than 75% elicited concern from others prior to carrying out their attacks. In almost every documented case of active shooters, warning signs were shown. 2018 had the most school shootings on record, but U.S. Department of Homeland Security research shows that if we know the signs of gun violence, we can prevent it and reverse this trend. The majority of individuals with diagnosed mental illness do not engage in violence against others. 70% of people who die by suicide tell someone their plans or give some type of warning sign. 39% of parents wrongly believe children don't know where a gun is stored. An estimated 4.6 million American children live in a home where at least one gun is kept, loaded, and unlocked. 17 states have enacted extreme risk laws, the majority being implemented following the school shooting at Majory Stoneman Douglas High School in 2018. Get involved and make a difference. Real change in how America approaches gun reform and school safety isn't possible without people.